it's action. It's action night. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. He'll square off against Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. You want to get out of the way because. And yes, he is the great. The chip. So a capacity crowd here for. We're expecting an all out offensive display. Best rounds I've seen this year. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Oh, and there he got him with a stiff jab. from each other and then run right back into trouble. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? Parries that right jab away. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this far. Well, he's just taking a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter team, you've got to take them out of their face. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. He just misses your act, Jack. Changes from both men in this round. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Nice counter. He misses that jab. Good counter left hand there. Jam. Defense is not an option for these two. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Oh. 
he is down big time in the school. You know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you on the pressure. He knows your legs are burning. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. Fury just got clipped. The big fella might be in big trouble. He's got him right where he wants him. Now what? Can he close the show? Thought we were going to see the finish there. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry. Get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the plan. Nice exchanges from both men in this match. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. <laughs> Anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Seems like he's beginning to recover a little bit. Good job from the back out of trouble. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Both men step back for just a moment. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Tell this guy he's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Muhammad Ali's in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. No, we don't see a knockdown. Beautiful counter shot. The perfect counter lands. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Guys that carry so much power. Of course they're gonna look that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Neither man really defending themselves. That left counter punch will score. I don't have a punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. He misses with that jab. Left counter scores. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Right. Offensive display landing that left counter. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Going to need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it could be the sweetest sound. And there's the bell for round five. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. Stamina 
combat is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what. <laughs> Good punch. Nice shot with the left. They figure out the combination to this safe. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. <laughs> Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That left counter was perfectly timed. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. There's the bell to start round six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice counter shot. <laughs> Through the hook, did land. Blocks the right hook. There's a counter shot. determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in. Taj, you know what? Sometimes when I go to the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? These two are the perfect dance partners. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that much above you so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Counter punching. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He just missed with that left jab. Exchange punches. This round could go either way. Oh, and Tyson Fury just got rocked. This could be it. Tyson Fury, one of the great heavyweight champions. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs a there's the bell for round seven. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. One punch away from getting the momentum back. The counter left. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Punch, counter punch. 
Good one. Nice counter shot. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them. More than happy. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they see you throw their shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. And you've got to be careful. <laughs> Exchange here from both. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Perfect counter shot. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. And he misses with that jab. Good counter right hand again. Neither man really defending himself. Catch and shoot. In the early rounds of a fight, we'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power. And I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take your mind off the chin. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? <laughs> can you believe this? The greatest is down on the canvas. One, two, three, four. Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. You've been put down. You've got to think right. Survive and then give it back the next round. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full power because I know he's left a gun. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does that, I'll be very, very surprised. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Throw out a lazy jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. The oh, building is going bananas. What a shot. Will they see a huge upset here? One, two, three, four, five. Well, they're back up on their feet, but. I'm not sure why. Well, now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you. And they've got to gym you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. <laughs> the 
fantastic punch. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice job. And Tyson Fury just got clipped. Legs walking back to the corner, but he's still in it. Unbelievable heart knocked down twice. May he's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up for it. Body and head, be smart, change your angle, go out there and finish him. We've made it to round 10. Two knockdowns in the last round. What do we have in store here? I have no idea what they have left. What, how, how do you come back from something like that? Look at that twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Look at, is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. He blocks the jab. Good counter punch. Men step back for just a moment. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. His eyes don't look good. Body language is bad. He could go down. How is he still on his feet? Looks like they've shaken it off. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Fails to score with that left hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Championship round, round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this could be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Can't find a home with that jab. Punching for both these fighters. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Tyson Fury just got clipped. The big fella might be in big trouble. Thought we were going to see the finish there. These men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This is with the jab. Counter right. Counter right hand there. 
You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. <laughs> No secret who has the advantage after that last round. Who thought we would have made it to 12? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. He parries the right jab away. Counter shot lands. Lands with the right counter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? Beautiful counter punch. Watch that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Decision. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This is, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight. Yeah, look at that. All the belts, my team. In the ring, I swing left, right, man, say, get paid. Watch that thing. Drive up when we bring man right, some bullets just fling. Ding ding, step in the ring, I swing left, right, man, said get ping. Watch that thing. No, but pin, we bring man right, some bullets just fling. Ding ding, step in the ring, I swing left, right, man, said get ping. Watch that thing. No, but pin, we bring man right, some bullets just fling. Fling, right up, fling. Can't say a ting. Send man over the ropes. Man try come for the belt, but I punch you. You never saw ended all of your hopes. Now all of your bros are stood on the sideline, head in the hand, your jaw could show. Better keep those hands up, swing for their fences. All your going no Paul if it's sure. How much do you wanna be the champ? How much do you wanna please the fans? How much do you wanna be the king? And how much do you wanna feed your camp? How much do you wanna see people chant? Swing like you got a thing to lose. It's the ESPC beat them neatly. Titles of ever in the spew. Ding ding, step in the ring. I swing left, right, man said get. Can't say a ting, no but ping, we bring man right, some bullets just fling. Ding ding, step in the ring, I swing left, right, man said get ping. Can't say a ting, no but ping, we bring man right, some bullets just fling. I came from the Seven Hills, City of Steel, home of the village and brilliant mills. Can't take man for a pudding, take man to Ingles, now we have a kid on his heels. In the ring, it's clear and real, brave heart man put a kid on his shield. I daft man put a kid on his, been bad from when I was swinging on pill. Left up, give it with a whiplash. Not gonna work with a sit back. Yeah. Man wanna show ball over the top, send him over the ropes like Prince Lap. Send a man through ropes like Hopkins. Go mad like Mike when he lost it. I'm trying to be the best at money. Most guys don't know about boxing. Ding ding, step in the ring, I swing left, right, man said get ping. Can't try a ting. No, but ping, we bring man right, somebody shall sling. Yeah. Ding ding, step in the ring, I swing left, right, man said get ping. 
Can't say a thing. No, it won't pin. We bring when right, somebody shall sling. Like I got a brand new contract. Yeah. Armed and dangerous, I'm ready for combat. Go. Soon as I catch him on sight, it's contact. I get the job done proper, there's no combat. That's not fair, people hoping on the balance. But either you got that magic or you haven't. And we were born and blessed with all this talent. Soon as we give it a task, so we're powered, I'm fully prepared, fully activated and ready. Focused on the target, grab my weapon, hold it steady, your name. You know the name rains heavy. Got the beast in me screaming out, let me out, okay. I ain't got to do it with rage. The days are numbered, see my steps are calculate. On time, not a second hour late. Witness in the mastery that we display like a hit man. Yeah. See, I go in and get the job done. Experience like I've been doing this for centuries. Before the events, I would practice, but it was empty. Never needed approval, all I needed was improvement. Got swift with the movement, I attack and defend. We ain't in the same.
Yeah, the hate, the grind, the sweat, the blood, the time, my motivation. Ay, I work too hard, too long, and I be in the conversation. My team been up, way up, ain't nothing less than domination. I got the game and say what I can get in combination. Go on that high side, don't focus on what's high side. Sleeping on me, tell them not. Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. And he'll face Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall, with that massive 83. Muhammad. The Bronx. Fans are ready. And there's the bell for round one. Both men step back for just a moment. Neither man really defending themselves. Respecting each other's punching power. And he misses with that jab. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Changes from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. God, we see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I, I, I'm being unfair. I'm not being unfair saying it's a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. Well, keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for us so far. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance. And there's the bell to start round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. He misses with that jab. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is the fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.
gonna do right here? Let's settle the score. Look around you. We got a whole room full of monsters. We gonna shut it down like this. Let's go. You could not have chosen a better venue for this one. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. About time to. Time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Tommy the Duke Morrison. He weighed in. Tommy the Duke. It's Floyd. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. Words are cheap. It's the action that says it all. We waited a long time, and now we've got this fight. Oh, that punch. <laughs> He just missed with that left jab. Well, there's no business like show business, and this is the most unique play anyone will ever see in this theater, mano a mano. Look, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold dust. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Tail for skill, tap for tap. Is that a match made in heaven? That's a strong left hand. This writer told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over ball. Bring on the mind door. Pop, jab, boom. Get the mind grip. Failed them. Very close round with ten seconds to go. Nice job. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner men's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done.
Here we go, round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Great counter right hand there. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Counter right. His jab just got blocked. Nice counter punch. They both want to knock out, you can tell. Good counter left hand there. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he fails to score with that left hook. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything to them. A perfect counter shot. Through the hook, didn't land. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He blocks the hook. That left counter was this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. Punch, counter punch. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you on the pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Finish him off. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. You've got a couple of big units here, and I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drama, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punch is gonna be Ooh, that really affected Floyd there. Maybe he should hold on, but that's not in his DNA. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, shed yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, that is it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Landed. So that left lands. The perfect counter lands. A very competitive round. And Patterson wouldn't take anymore. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. To make or break a fighter.
Time winding down. And there's the bell to start round four. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a block. Him. Good counter punching for both these athletes. <laughs> Much for boxing. This is a fist fight. In the early rounds of the fight, we'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. I've seen some fights with a great chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a kiss. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger. Some nice exchanges from both men in this room. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. <laughs> No rest for the weary. Watch that jab. Nice counter shot. He blocks that right hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. There's a counter shot. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a first round. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. To get tactic, they know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Not the best start, but I don't want the corner men now. It's time for them doing their job. But get through the round, regroup, right, freshen up, boom. Different tactics. Ooh, that really affected that one in a day. bad way. <laughs> Patterson's dazed. He takes a knee, buys time, collects himself. Nine, six, seven, eight. Final ten seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. Here we go in the sixth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming up? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Lands with the right counter. I 
don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Both men step back for just a moment. That counter shot lands. He misses with that jab. both men in this round. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. So you get in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. He looks like he's going to do it. Can you believe this? seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive and then give it back the next round. Round seven, here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That's a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Neither fighter willing to slow down. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round. <laughs> out win congratulations what a build-up what a journey towards this fight what a fight itself the crowd enjoyed it the fighters enjoyed it. i certainly enjoyed it and what a way to end the fight there's no mistake there about who won what a shot One, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a broom. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Straight in, more pain, so more gaining. Never came in, guns blazing. At Braven, you get weighed in. Been training, sick of waiting. Some failing, not plain sailing. Entertaining, check the ratings. Let me out, I don't want to be confused. Yeah, I'm ready, who's next up? Pay 
attention now, yeah, your best luck. I like to warm up like a few jabs, and then I hit hard like a left hook. My style's unique, not textbook. Step to me, you get yourself messed up. Win or lose, still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one, number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. There ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a room. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Who wants it? Ready for anybody? I got this. They say you can learn from your losses, but victory tastes sweet like chocolates. Top of the game, you can't top this. Permanent sauce, never lost it. You came in the game, but you flopped it. I came in the game and I bossed it. That's why me and you are different. I'm ahead, you lot are in the distance. Stay persistent and consistent. I'm the king now, this is my kingdom. Ready for take off, watch how I lift them. Take shots, it's rare that I miss them. Boom. Win or lose, still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one, number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Without a room, there ain't no room. Still here, still not be moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time for our tale of the tape. Up first, Tommy the Duke Morrison. He weighed in at 223 pounds and has a re... Tommy the Duke... The... Expectations are st These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. He misses with that jab. Nice offensive play, landing that left counter. Both men step back for just a moment. The sun is blazing this afternoon, and these two athletes are going to have to find a way to deal with it. Todd, tactics are everything. In this heat, the corner man, that one minute. That one minute he's gonna do everything. He's gonna give you instructions. He's gonna cool you down, calm you down, patch you up, and send you out there confident. It is so hard when you're in a fight and it's outside in that heat. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. And he just misses with that jab. That left counter was perfectly timed. What a punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. And every time you see him, take a Here we go. It's round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. <laughs> Shut <laughs> 
He threw the hook, didn't land. Nice job landing that left counter punch. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Speed generates power. Time is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop, knock anybody out. You've just got to hit him in the right spot. You'd like to see more jabs. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He missed with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Trouble here, he may have been saved by the bell. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think, come on, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Good round, I like that. I'm happy. Good man. Big shot. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. They exchange punches. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a thick young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made it happen. Fantastic punch. <laughs> Punch. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. And there's the bell to start round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab. Let it ride past you and push his own weight on him. 
Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. These two are the perfect dance partners. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight with one punch. You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement. You're gonna have drum, because when these guys go down, that's when the punches are gonna land. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's gonna get hurt and someone's gonna react. When are we gonna see a jab from these two? Beautiful counter punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Glad to have heard that bell. The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Here we go in round five. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. Still swinging with nothing left. Neither man really defending themselves. And a counter left. That counter shot lands. This is not good strategy. Those punches. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Here we go in the sixth round. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered. He's dead and the fight will be over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. And he misses with that jab. He got out of the way of that right hook. Both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Here we go, it's round seven. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little baby to pickpocket him. He's been showing exceptional chins, by the way. There's a counter shot. How much confidence do you build when your opponent hit you with their best shot and you walked right through? Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're just guessing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. These two are the perfect dance partners. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Not a lot of punch out, but I thought there might be more action here. And he just missed with that left jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. And there's the bell for round eight. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. <laughs> That hook was thrown with some bad intention. Nice exchange here from both men. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt the body. This is easy for us to say and comment here at ringside, but those guys can see what they've got to do. I understand there's a lot of pressure. I understand there's some guys that are just naive or inexperienced, but just give them a break. Give me your time. <laughs> Counter-punching. 
He misses with that jab. <sighs> Jab does not score. <laughs> Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. <laughs> nice counter punch. <laughs> and a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think. And there's the bell for round nine. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Good counter right hand again. That left counter punch will score. Right punch. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in a ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Work the body, frustrate, them. take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's all right to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. So that left land. Another. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Punch, counter punch. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. This is the 10th. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Having so much pain, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons. And that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen. So you rush your work. You think, I've got to get to the side close down. And he fails to score with that left hook. You can tell he's stronger and he's much faster. Left counter scores. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Beautiful counter shot. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their own. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. At this point, you gotta believe. Let's start 11. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations you've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. <laughs> What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Both men step back for just a moment. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Just misses with that jab. miss with the jab this round could go either way 10 seconds to go from this moment forward he cannot who thought we would have made it to 12 it has been all one-way traffic how do they turn this around They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs are wet. Then put the pressure on. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice counter shot. Nice job by him to break that jab. Pass and shoot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. I have never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got a hold. You've got a hold. They went out of steam. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Good counter left hand there. You cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. Unlucky to miss with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Some might have thought it was a little bit closer, but in the end, the referees are in a unanimous agreement. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big heart.